I've had this trailer since 2017, pulled it about 7,000 miles. These are the original tires. This thing pulls empty or loaded, just ch -ch 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 -ch. you jar your teeth out. So I want to take these tires off, get some new ones and put on there and have them balanced. If I don't fix it, I'm getting rid of the trailer. There's nothing worse than driving all the way to Utah, to Arizona, or even to Fort Smith, but something back there going, ch -ch 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 -ch, just shaking you back and forth. So we want to break down one of these tires and show everybody how easy it is, I hope. I already did too, so I get a little practice. When I was younger, I've done these. Oh gosh, sometimes I had to fix three or four flats before I could go to work. The company I worked for, truck tires. Back when I was a lot younger. Maybe I won't dent the rim. I didn't dent them, but you never know. Maybe you can see me. You can just get some Dawn dishwashing liquid, mix it up with water. I just had an old can of foam cleaner. It kind of helps it go underneath the bead and keep you from bashing your rim in as bad. This is just old cheap tire hammer. My dad used to have this years ago. Don't take much. Back sides have got a safety bead on it. It's a little bit harder. Easier to do it for me standing up the back of this than laying over the ground doing it. These here are something I just bought to work on my motorcycles and stuff with. A little more of that around here. I've got some regular longer ones, but don't really need them. Plus, they charge about fifty dollars to mount balance and things. This way, you can get them to do it for free, since I know them. And that's it. One more to go, and I'll be done. It's easier to mount them up than it is to take them off, but I'm not going to mount them. All right, everybody. That's how easy it is to take a tire off. I just hope you can see that. Thanks for watching. Bye.